Hey guys and gals, this is Nathan. Welcome back to another episode of Combat Coloring Tips and Tricks. This is episode 29, and we're going to be doing the rest of the latex outfit here on uh, this piece by Guile. And again, I'll put his uh, DeviantArt in the, in the description so you guys can check out more of his awesome work. Um, before I get started, though, I want to clarify uh, about last episode. I received a comment uh, from a viewer, and uh, it says, Nathan, correct me if I'm wrong, but I can't help but think you are describing value and not contrast. And that's correct. <laughs> um, at least in the way I was describing it. I guess I, I'm just not... When I say contrast, I'm not talking about in a color sense. I'm talking more about comparing, contrasting the two colors against each other, where value, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, value is the, the you know, it's going to be like the, the lightness of the color. And what I was showing you in the examples at the beginning of uh, the video, that's episode 29, um, you know, there wasn't a whole lot of difference in the value. And that difference is what I was talking about, like the dictionary version of contrast, comparing the two colors together, if that makes sense. I didn't go to uh, <laughs> to art school. It's just like this is how I I I was taught. It's just comparing the two colors to each other. They're too close. Uh, so hopefully that clarifies. Uh, if not, I mean, there's plenty of awesome articles on Google that uh, you know talk about the terminology and stuff like that. But um, Let's go ahead and uh, get started out. Yeah, I just wanted to clarify that for everybody. Uh, if anybody else is confused. <clears throat> Got a dry throat today, I don't know why. Um, all right, so we have her outfit, the flats for her outfit on a separate layer. And let me see, I'm gonna lock that layer because I'm gonna be doing a lot of, uh, a lot of selections and then airbrushing. But first, oops, no group. Let me move this cord out of the way. So it's messing me up last time. Right in front of my keyboard. I'm gonna grab my dodge tool. Just so I can grab a couple uh, a couple of values here that I like. So there's that one. And let's go one more. So something like that. And then I like that one right there. So just picking colors uh, that I'm gonna be using for the highlights on here. First. I'm going to grab this lighter tone and go to a brush. That'll be nice. Let's see. So, uh, for some reason, like my, if you see my, my uh, menus going like this or like on my uh, menus, uh, like the hue saturation or whatever, they jump all over the place for some reason. Like when I le pick up my Wacom tablet or my, my stylus, for some reason the computer still recognizes that it's there and it's dragging it all over the place. So sometimes I have to do things a couple times and it gets uh, kind of annoying. So I'm just gonna roughly sketch in. I mean, you guys saw me do this for the uh, for the highlights on the, on the skin and the cape. So nothing new. I'm just kind of, you know, uh, painting this stuff in really loosely. Going to give me something to work with, and I already have, like, an idea in my head of, like, where my uh, light sources are going to be. So that does make it a, a bit easier as I'm going in with my uh, lasso tool and making my selections. So this one here will carry up to here, and then down this way. A little bit here. Need bigger highlight here. Okay, let's go down here. Over here. So I think, yeah, we don't really see too much on this side. Just a little bit. 
And again, you don't have to color every single little piece. I know I used to always fall into that trap when I was first getting started. So now I'm just kind of making my selections, loosely following the, uh, the artwork here. I'm going to go in with that same color, a little bit more pressure on it. Don't worry if your selections aren't, uh, you know, exactly where you want them. You'll end up just doing that same selection all day long and it's just not good for the schedule. Plus it looks a lot more fluid, you know, if you just go for it and then move on to the next. When uh, you're coloring pieces, you know, people are going to look at it from a distance, you know, they're not really going to really zoom in there and, and study each and every one of your selections. So, you know, just try not to worry about it too much. Now this part down here is just mostly going to be reflective light, so I don't want to give it too much detail over there, or go into or too you know too much uh, too much lighting on it. So we're doing. Uh, latex and stuff like that it's always good to when you're first starting off like have some reference around um, yeah I'm sure there's plenty of websites you can look at <laughs> for latex but unless your girlfriend or your wife catch you might have some explaining to do but uh, Adam Hughes is really good with doing that his latex rendering but this is just a, uh, you know, quick way of doing it, giving it a nice little, nice little punch, you know, after you're done with our rendering. too fussed about the laces right now so we'll come back in I have those on a at least I think I do I think I have them flooded separate so that's gonna get a nice highlight there
All right, that's our uh, our rendering. Oh, let me get that little sliver. I don't think we really need it. But. All right. Let me take a drink real quick. Sorry. All right. So we have our uh, our most of our rendering done anyway. We're gonna do a little bit more work on it. Uh, so again, like kind of like we did with the uh, with the Chrome on Colossus in uh, episode twenty eight, I believe. Um, so we'll just go ahead and hit Apple J on a Mac or Control J on a PC. And that's going to duplicate our, our layer that we're working on right now. And there's the AC. Great. Let me move the microphone a little bit closer then. Um, all right, so we have that. There's our render, renderings going on. And let's go to... Well, first of all, let's go ahead and get our hue saturation going. So Command U or Control U, bring up our hue saturation panel. We're just going to drag the saturation all the way down. So we're looking at a grayscale image to take all the color out of it. And next up, we'll go to Filter, Artistic, and then Plastic Wrap. So you can see it's going to give us like these nice little, uh, well, it's wrapping it in plastic pretty much. So you can see like little by little it's coming in there and it works really well like when you when our, with our selections uh, where with the chrome filter we wanted it kind of loose that way they would play around with it more we're here you know kind of want to do a little bit more work on it with the selections and stuff uh, and the plastic wrap will, will work better with it uh, so you kind of see like here like in the breast area it's not really going to do like a lot on it it's not really wrapping that plastic on it. Um, so let's see, we're gonna kind of play around with this a little bit to see what works best with the detail. So I'm gonna come back in a little bit. I don't think I want it too smooth. Yeah, cause if you look at how soft that looks, it's a little bit too soft for our needs. So a little bit maybe, yeah, maybe about there. And I'll go ahead and hit OK. And then, let's see how that looks. Oh, we don't need that one. So it's hitting some areas really nicely, and then other areas it needs some work. That's OK. We'll go in and fix that up some. This will just give us like a really nice uh, starting point to really start working on our highlights some more. All right, so let's go back and turn that off and go ahead and hit our levels. Uh, so Command L or Control L on a PC and grab grab, grab <laughs> the, the black eyedropper here on the right hand side and just hit that gray and then that'll uh, turn all that color or that value gray and then we'll pump up the pump up the whites a bit. So I think that that'll look pretty good. And now we'll set that to screen and see what it does. So you, just, you see it's really intense. Uh, usually what I'll do is drop it down to, you know, like 50% or something. It's looking all right. Let's see if we set this to overlay at 50, 20. Mm. Let's look at a cave here. I just think it's too dark though. Let me lighten that up. Let's go back. If you have a history, <laughs> go back to where we first did the plastic wrap. Let's throw that on overlay and let's see how that looks. So when I color, I'm always about experimenting and you know trying something different all the time. So. I actually think that looks okay. Let me lighten up a little bit. Then darken it just a tad. So I'm pretty yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I mean what do you guys think? The cool thing about it is you have like the cloth, the skin, and then with the 
the latex is all totally different texture and it works very well for selling it as a different texture. Uh, let's see what color gray is that. So even though it's going to be on an overlay, I'm going to kind of paint in. Let me lock that layer down. I'm going to paint in with that gray so I can kind of control where these areas are heating. So I don't like that. That highlight going up there is kind of unnecessary. So, I mean, it's very random. Well, I'm sure there's like some kind of mathematic equation, but for our needs and purposes, we can't control it. So to me, that's that's random. So when I say that, that's what I mean. I'm just kind of painting in uh, where I want to dull, dull that out a little bit, uh, bring it back. And then other areas, I want to pump it up, you know, a little bit more. Go ahead and with my dodge tool, again, uh, dodge tool, set the highlights at 100% using the uh, airbrush pressure on that. And I don't want to do it everywhere because then it's just going to really flatten it out. So I'm just kind of hitting you know, these high points where the, the light is facing it. I got my gray, so I'm going to turn that down right there, down at the bottom because the light again is coming from up on top and this part here is actually the shadow from from that so let's help that make a little bit more sense kind of dull this down a little bit here because that's going to be hidden by the other boot so let's take a look I think that looks pretty good yeah I'll go with it. I'm going to have another layer up on top and I'm just going to go ahead and not quite white. I mean, you can see it's kind of a, a little bit off white in the cool range. Let me see. I'll stick with that. Let me have the shape dynamics on my soft brush. Just going back in, uh, hitting up some of these like edges where it's going to hit a little bit more. Oops. I also paint in, you know, a little bit of drop shadow from this lip of the the edging the rib of the I don't know what it's called um, but you see what I'm saying it looks like I have a little bit right, over painted there so now we can kind of go in more see so yeah I'm still on there be a little bit more precise you know with the with the lacing
again, it's just a, a little bit easier just to go ahead and, and you know, paint this kind of stuff in by hand instead of, you know, having to, you know, make these small little selections and whatnot. That looks pretty good. Uh, let's see. For the laces down here, yep. That's why it's good to have everything separated in our flats. Uh, yeah, let's do that on top. That is dark. Why did that change? Oh, that's the wrong layer. That's why. I was like, geez, couldn't figure that out. All right. I'm going to have, have those laces selected. I'm going to hit Command Shift I, or you could do Control Shift I. And what that does is that's going to inverse my selection. So now I can color outside that, and it's not going to cover that up. So I can easily do my drop shadows from the laces easily and quickly. And then when I'm done, I can just go ahead and uh, inverse the selection again, then I'm right back to where I was. And I can go ahead and, and paint the laces. But I think for these laces, I might do a little, a little differently than those top ones. Yeah, maybe I won't do it in such a such a dark color. Let's see how this looks. I think it's fifty percent on that. Oops, me inverse again. So we're back to where. Okay, there we go. And again, just a, just a quick stroke, you know, on the on that top. Top left edge, you know, it's going to give us what we, uh, all the rendering we need. We don't need to get all, uh, all crazy. So, let's see, yeah. The reason why I didn't want to do like two, two colors on, on down here. It's like one, it's, it's so small, and it's just like, it's not where your eyes need to be. But then also, like I wanted to show, like, oh, maybe it's a different uh, different material than the other stuff. So, I think that, I think that looks good. I need some rim lighting. I'm just going to do it on a new layer first. Uh, maybe this blue here. Take off my shape dynamics. I think that looks good. Under here. Select everything and then just inverse that, delete, and we're back to where we were. Um, that's on a separate layer. So let me knock that down a little bit. Maybe screen it. it. Looks like it should have like maybe like a little bit more blue or something. Hmm. 
<laughs> Sorry, thinking about it. I think it looks all right. And then that way they're like the, yeah, I'll have it darker and that's fine. Um, over there it really emphasizes, you know, the curves of her body um, and not really, you know, on the highlights so much. I really feel we should go a little bit more though. Uh, let me merge all that down, right, and then kind of yeah, that'll work. Just kind of hit it a little bit with the dodge tool um, in those spots. I kind of hit they're gonna hit the light a little bit more. So up here at the top. On this side over here and then down here I think that'll do it um mm -hmm. uh, you know what before we go this one uh, <laughs> I always say that and there's something else I want to tweak never be too happy you know yeah that looks a lot better darken that a little bit so yeah it's just a quick way I mean I'm not saying should do this every time or it works every time because there's certain stuff where depending on how it's rendered it won't fit properly or you know but it's a it's a nice quick way to add you know extra interest in those highlights and give you a nice starting point where you could add a little bit more to it um, so yeah give it a shot and uh, you know tell me let me know what you guys think about it and um, it's gonna do it for this episode so if you uh, like what you see hit that like button helps me out a lot and if you haven't already, uh, please subscribe. And um, yeah, you can see more of my work on DeviantArt. And I have a Facebook fan page that I try and post up, uh, you know, different articles I might find or videos talking about color uh, that I find interesting. Um, so I'll put the, the link to those in the description. Uh, so check those out. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. All right, bye.